the next guest on the show, I, if you, you know you binge watch, I'm super binge watching his program and I'm right up to date except for the last episode, so don't say anything, <laughs> but I'm really into it. it. You'll recognize him, if you don't know his name necessarily when you hear it, you might recognize him, for, he was in the, the Battlestar Galactica prequel yeah. Caprica, he was in that, and uh, of course, he's a hell of an actor in his own right, but what he's doing right now in that show, grim, pretty banging. So, and it gets weird. Obviously, I'm excited to bring Sasha out in just a second, but here's a clip from Grimm. We have a lot to talk about. Let's start with this. Nick, we don't have to do it this way. Yeah, we do. You. That's right. Please welcome Sasha Reyes! Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good job. Thank you, man. Good job. Oh! It's always oh. fun to play a clip of the guest when he's getting beat up. That's a hell of a clip, too. Cool. Hey, man, congrats on everything. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. I'm thrilled to be here. Big fan of yours. I'm happy to see you, man. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I met you, I think I met you in the late 90s, right? Because Late 90s, yeah. You were like 15 in, years ago. It was crazy. You were in a band been, called uh, Tricky Woo. I was, yeah. Tricky Woo. This is the best band photo ever, by the way. Oh, my God. Actually, this is so terribly embarrassing. No, no, dude, that's not the embarrassing one. What am I doing with my face? This is the embarrassing one. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, God, we can't do that. We can't show this. Oh, really? Just Jesus. a little bit. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's lovely. So Grim hits, mm -hmm. and I think people expected good stuff from the show, but I actually think people were really surprised by the success. I wonder if... Yeah. The, the, were you surprised by this? Completely, the... still am. Yeah. yeah. I, I had no idea what it was. I mean, it was this, this crazy little idea, this combination, fairy tale and procedural and, um, you know... And so taking the Brothers Grimm stories... Yeah. And of course, expanding them a little bit, mm -hmm. setting them in modern day Portland. Of course. What, Why as one not? would, right? Yeah, sure. Aside from that, it's a story about trying to fit in. And then I was yeah. thinking about it as it relates to your story because you think about your folks and, you know, coming from where they come sure, from. But yeah. just tell, I mean, tell me a bit about that. And could you relate to some of that? Um, well, you know, my, my parents came from the former Soviet Union through Israel. I was born there. Then we moved to Montreal and I was raised in Montreal and then lived in Toronto for a bit, live in LA, and now live in Portland. I mean, just all over the place. And um, there is something about fitting in. What, what were those conversations like at your dinner table, you know, because... There's, there's a lot of accordion and pickle things. <laughs> well, true, but there's a lot I'm of... serious. But my, my family's Eastern European, and yeah. I'll tell you, there's a lot of heaviness, man. Oh, it's Especially heavy. when they talk about oh, it's heavy. that era. Life, the past, family, like, it's just, there's this dark cloud, everything is so serious, you know? But at the same time, as you know, when things are that serious, when it's light, it's wonderful. Right. It's so beautiful, and it's just so celebratory. Did your, um, did your folks tell you what life was like for them? Oh, all the time. Yeah. All the time. We actually had a chance to visit 10 years ago, and it was, it was you know, quite powerful to go back, especially, you know, a place like that where you're, you're doing, you don't leave, you, you flee. Was and, your father uh, an emotive guy to begin with? Crazy emotive. Yeah? Oh, my God. He's probably crying right now watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing his boy on the CBC? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? How does that feel for you? It feels wonderful. It was, you know, he was so scared for me. He was so worried. It was very typically immigrant where they, they just want what's secure, what they didn't have, and, and they were very reluctant to have me follow this path, and now they couldn't be more proud. So it's, it's a wonderful, you know, coming home. It's interesting for you, too, because Russia's so much in the news for many reasons, mm -hmm. and the Olympics being one, uh, Russia's anti-gay laws. Mm -hmm. Then you did the No Hate campaign. Did, you yeah. posed for that. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's a choice. I know a lot of actors want to be a part of it, and a lot of people don't want to be a part sure. of it. Tell me about you being involved with that. Well, I mean, a lot of my friends are gay, and, and uh, certainly, you know, I, I have no tolerance for anyone who, uh, who has any sort of, you know, ignorance or restriction on people's lives or love life. We don't have any place in that. And so I, I've, I've done what I can to support. So do you see, then, that you can use your position to really... Try to affect change. It's the best part about this position. And, and, and the hustle of the acting world kind of slowed down a little bit, and I sort of looked up and realized that it's my responsibility to give back. And so um, I've especially been very happy to 
take part in Portland. It's a really great little town, and you could feel the, the, the difference that you make because it's, it's quite contained. L.A. is so spread out, it's a little right. difficult at times. So all of us in the cast have taken part and, and, and done our share to participate. You guys participate. are fabulous cyclists. Let's take a look at this picture here. We cycle well. You cycle well. Or is it, that's there a great picture. Yeah. I think I've got a yeah. hard copy here, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Portland's a bit of a funny town, and uh, they do naked bike ride better than anybody. Yeah. And so, you know, it raises awareness, raises funds. <laughs> and so eventually, we were just riding along, and uh, David says, you know what? I want to get naked. I'm feeling it. I, feel I want to get naked. And I said, we are going to lose our jobs. I guarantee you someone will take a photo. Sure enough, we're still employed. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. The, um, how much of your folks do you carry with you down there? All of it. Yeah. All the time. They come down to see you? Yes, they do. What's that experience like? The first, did you bring them to set? Like, how did that work? I did. I recently brought them. They came to Portland uh, a couple of times, and uh, my mother cried. Your mother cried? My mother cried. Oh, come on, It was on, beautiful. Dude. She was so happy. She, they'd never been on set before. I'd never, never brought them into my world. It was always just something I did, and I would come home. And, and then they came to set, and they met everyone, and they were so moved. And my mother started applauding at the end of a take. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank you. That's sweet. Yeah. How did you feel when you saw that? I cried. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And your dad was hitting on Juliet. My dad will hit on anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, he's very charming, very charming. Yeah. Grim, yeah. Friday, do you know how it's gonna end? Is everything shot now? I have no idea. You don't know? No idea. How f what do you mean you have no idea? I have, they don't tell me anything. You don't know? No, they say come to work, read this. Are you like, even in the last episodes? I hope so. I'm in there, come on. But I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. There's going to be a baby. There's going to be a marriage. There's going to right. be... Oh, there's going to be and, marriage. Of course there will be. And there's going to be a lot of trouble, and, and I might do a little bit more fisticuffs. Good. So good to see you, man. You too, man. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. Of course. Sasha yeah. Rose, everybody.